Alright guys, what is going on? Archive here today, bringing you a new video. I haven't done an unboxing on my channel yet. I'm going to be doing an unboxing right fucking now. Forza Horizon 3 just came out today. Got it actually right here. And you can't see, but it's just installing on my Xbox right now. I'm just waiting for it to install. But I bought this today so I can fucking play it like a man. You know, I've been playing, I've never played a game, a racing game with an actual racing wheel. I didn't want to go crazy over the top. I didn't want to go spend $500 on my first racing wheel. Because I know that's, a lot of them are like super expensive, but then a lot of the cheap ones are really garbage. So I found this one. I read a bunch of reviews on it. Everyone was saying that it's a pretty decent uh, mid-range. You don't want shit. You're willing to spend a bit of money, but you don't want to spend $500, $600 on a crazy ass racing wheel with like a stick shift and all that shit. So I got this one, got it at Best Buy. It cost me 150 bucks Canadian. It doesn't have any force feedback. That's the one thing that people like to complain about. I don't really give a shit. I'm not, <laughs> I know it's not a crazy expensive steering wheel, but I'm going to be opening up for you guys today. I'll show you just the box right now. You can see Ferrari 458 Spider Racing Wheel Thrustmaster. Got it for the Xbox One. It's a pretty big box. I felt pretty awkward walking out of Best Buy with this thing, but let's go ahead and let's just get it opened up here. Pop this top. Here we go. So right off the bat, we got a plastic clamp. I'm pretty sure that's the clamp to clamp it onto a table. This side, we got the manual, instruction manual. Let's put that also to the side. I think we already got the main attraction going on here. Big ass fucking wheel, let's go. Oh, I don't know where to put this. Set it down beside my cat for now. Doesn't look too happy. Yo, what is that? <laughs> Ready for her close up. That sassy tail flick. Um, let's go ahead and let's get this plastic off here. It's kind of hard doing unboxings with one hand. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so good. So good. So you can see there, that's where you screw in the clamp at the bottom. Um, Feels stern, stern. I mean, moving it a bit. The uh, it's got it doesn't have force feedback, but it does have these um, elastics in it that automatically center the wheel, which I like quite a bit. They feel really good already, and I haven't even strapped up the wheel yet. So there we go. We got the uh, push engine start. We got the different race modes. They don't actually like do much. Um, we got the games. Or we got the in-game buttons for the Xbox One. Downshift and upshift paddle shifters. Oh, is stainless steel, nice and cold, fresh out the box. That feels real solid, real stern. I actually really think that feels quality. You guys can hear the click there, I'm sure. We've got some more buttons on the back. So it seems like there's a button behind this one. So it seems like if you don't want to use the actual um, paddle shifters, you can shift with buttons there. I don't there's the oh yeah so the push to push to start is a d-pad got the pause button there i don't know what that is that's the select button that's the pause button i don't know i don't remember what <laughs> what that uh what the race mode does but it's i don't think it's very important from what i've heard Let's scoot that off to the side Oh, very excited how this is gonna feel on my desk. Let's get that out of the way now. Continue this unboxing. There we go. Get the shit out of here. Boy. So there we go. We got the pedals there. We got the gas pedal, the brake pedal. Oh, I really like. Yeah, I know you can adjust the resistance on both of these, but that feels really good, really realistic already. To be honest. Don't mind, 
all the shitty wires, <laughs> all the broken cable ties everywhere. I had all my cable management done, but I had moved a bunch of my setup around the other day, so I had to cut like 400 cable ties. Um, I could see this being a problem on a floor. It moving, it's moving a little bit on the carpet just because there's a cord under it, but I don't think this is going to be a problem of it moving too much. I'm going to. There we go, we got it out of the box. You guys can see what it looks like. The rubber feels. Are you fucking kidding me? That is so inappropriate. Was. You have no shame? So that's everything out of the box. Pretty simple, pretty much just three pieces. The plastic clamp to go underneath the wheel to clamp it to the table. Not sure how I'm gonna clamp it here, because if I clamp it to the top, it's not gonna work too well, because I have my keyboard thing. But if I clamp it to this, this isn't very strong, so I'm not sure. And also, I don't want the wheel sliding in and out. So I'll figure that out, and I will cut back to you guys once it's set up. All right, we are back. I've got it set up completely. I had to, uh, Rewrote my whole setup pretty much around this thing. I had to divert my microphone. I had to take my keyboard off the keyboard stand and put it aside there. Got the foot pedals going on, and now we. <clears throat> All right. So, as you can see, firmly placed on the desk. Looks pretty damn good. Very happy about it. Got the light on showing that it's plugged in here. All the buttons work. I don't know what this does. It's not doing anything so far. Oh. So it's an extra pause button. This and the pause button both do the same thing. A, B. We got everything's working. Yes, crisp. Oh, the resistance is actually pretty hard on this right now, so I might have to lower that a bit, but this combined with the pedals at the bottom, this feels pretty damn good. I'm pretty excited to play with this. All right, so as you can see, I'm clearly not the best driver, but cut me some slack. This is my first time using a wheel. As you can see by the gameplay, it's pretty responsive. I'm, I'm having a pretty easy time steering the car with it. Um, as far as the foot pedals go, I have noticed that they are sliding quite a bit, and the brake pedal is pretty high up, so there's not a lot of um, platform on the back of the pedals to keep it from tipping over. So most of the time when you press the brake pedal, it actually tips the whole platform back so that's not very good and I am using this on carpet so if you're trying to use this on a floor you're pretty much gonna have no chance of this staying in place so either way you're gonna probably need to find something to fasten this down to the floor and secure it a bit otherwise you're not gonna have a great time playing um, an alternative to that is you can actually use gas and brake on your steering wheel I've been doing that a little bit to um, to make up for the pedals not being the greatest but other than that the wheel works great I'm having a really good time playing with it so far I'm not experiencing any problems with it it's just the pedals that are kind of not very good but you can use the steering wheel as an alternative to that but yeah I would totally recommend buying this product it's actually really really good for the price overall though for the price it is a very good wheel it works very well with Forza I've only tried it with Forza so far but it's doing the job it's getting everything done I really enjoy it actually so I totally recommend buying this if you're in the market for a, for a cheap ish racing wheel if you enjoyed this video today make sure you drop a like on this video subscribe to my channel check out some of my other videos and thanks for watching